we're all... Where's your magic brought us to this time? Oh, is that thing right here? There's <coughs> a bit of smoke too, like it's really dark. We're, are we in a wombat burrow? Oh, well there's a map right here. Maybe it can help us figure out where we are. Uh, compass too? All right, I'll just unroll this. Okay, um, can you, uh, can you see? No, hang on, matey, I'll, I'll move this out of your way. Is that better? Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, the sound of that uh, thunder up there and the look of this map, uh, we're all, uh, I'm pretty sure we're in Gallipoli. Yeah, definitely sounds like we're here too. Uh, well, I think we'll have to stay in this wombat burrow a little bit longer while we wait for that to settle down. But thankfully, while we're waiting, I've got us a book here. It's called Alfred's War. It's written by Rachel Bin Sally and illustrated by Samantha Fry. Now, we'll, I'll sit here and read this. You, maybe you can go figure out a way to get us out of here, right? I'll, I'll wait for you to come back. All right, Yarraby. Yarraby! Okay. Alfred George lived outside. He slept in parks, on benches, under big trees. Always under the stars. Sometimes, Alfred rolled up his bedding and walked from town to town looking for work, always with his hat on, his billy tied to his swag, and holes in the soles of his shoes. At night, Alfred camped on the outskirts of town. There were many places Aboriginal people weren't allowed to go. That's how life was in those days. Alfred had grown up on a mission, and when he was old enough, he set off to find work. He worked as a gardener and a labourer, and mustered cattle on stations a long way from home. One day, Alfred wrote a letter to his family, telling them he had signed up for adventure and travel. He was heading to the city to join the army and serve in the Great War. Alfred sailed off with thousands of other soldiers to fight across the sea. Like many of his mates, Alfred was wounded in battle and he returned home with a gammy leg. On cold days it ached, but he didn't think about the pain. He just kept on walking. Although Alfred never talked about the war, he thought about his soldier mates and sometimes they appeared in his dreams. Hey, hey, it's yeah, mate, we're just playing some cards, you wanna join? Every so often, Alfred could hear the never-ending gunfire in his head and whispers of young men praying. On those days, he curled into a ball and slept in the shadows. Alfred never forgot the soldiers in his unit who didn't make it home. He remembered all the mates he had served with and wished them well, wherever they are. Every year on Anzac Day, Alfred walked to the nearest town for the dawn service. He stayed in the shadows until he heard the laminate of the bugle 
and then he quietly joined the people gathered in the morning light. Alfred had fought in the Great War, but his bravery was not part of the nation's remembering. He was one of the forgotten soldiers. Me and my mates, Great War, 1917. And that was Alfred's War, written by Rachel Bin Seller and illustrated by Samantha Fry. And how'd you go, world? Did you manage to find a way out of here? We can go this way. Oh, deadly. So you're gonna go that way? And yep. Okay, I'll, I'll go this way. We better get out of here while the shelling mm. stopped. So. Thanks for coming out here and joining me and Wurl for the story, but I do think we need to get out of here. And remember kids, no war but the class war. Until next time, Yarrabee. Yarrabee.